In this video, I want to show you how you can update extra columns metadata in your SharePoint directly from the collaboration butter component. So to do this, we actually need extra logic to know which fields from the from Salesforce from the record we have to use to populate the values for these extra columns. For that, we are actually going to write a flow. In that flow, the input variables can be the record ID or the docconfig ID. With these two input variables, you can actually make decisions to know which fields or which values to use for your uh, metadata update. In this example, I have used the record ID to fetch my opportunity record, as you can see here, and fetch the amount for the opportunity. And that amount I want to use in my uh, column here for my number, which if I show you my column number here is actually set to Euro. So uh, that's my number column. Okay, so next up, we have some output variables that we use to know which fields to update. First of all, we, we need a concatenation of all the fields that we need to update. And next, that's the uh, in the variable called column names. So make sure the uh, upper casing and lower casing is uh, set correctly. And this is a field is available for output so that we can uh, actually uh, return it out of the flow that we can use that one. And then we need a value for every column. As you can see, my variables here, they use the same value as the uh, name of the column. So the variable name is the name of the column. As you can see here, foo prop and my number call, that's the exact value uh, variables that I have here and both are available for output. So in this case, we want to update two columns. We need three output parameters. Uh, we always need the column names. And next to that, we also need the for every column, a different parameter, an output parameter. Now let's set these, uh, um, let's do some assignments. Uh, as you can see, the column names uh, variable I put equal to uh, a concatenation of all the columns that I want to update. So if you have multiple columns to update, just put uh, all your columns separated with an, uh, a semicolon, so a dot comma, uh, between every column. So if you want to do that completely dynamically in a loop or something, that's perfectly possible. Huh? Um, but you, but uh, the output value should look like this. From this, we know that there are now two columns to update. And then next up, you're going to have to set the values for these columns. So in this case, I took the current date time for uh, the running this uh, flow. And for my other column, for the number column, I took the amount of the, um, um, of the opportunity. Okay, that's it. Then uh, if the uh, flow is activated, then we can use the uh, um, we can use the API name actually to update in our uh, PDF Butter component. Let's take a look at the component. I have here my component that I want to update, and in this component, as you can see, I have added my flow API name right here. So this API name um, that has to run for updating our columns. Uh, and now every time that I want to drag and drop a file here, or I want to generate a file with PDF Butler directly in the uh, collaboration Butler components, it will actually run this flow and then update the, uh, the columns uh, directly with the update of the upload of the file. Let's do an example. I have here a uh, file that I want to generate with PDF Butler. I just, uh, up generate this file and it is already uploaded into into SharePoint. Now, when I go and check out SharePoint, you can already see the file was added and you can see the values were populated automatically directly with the uh, information coming from the uh, from the flow. So that's the time and that's the amount. If you if I check on my opportunity, 
you can see that this is the exact amount on my opportunity. All the information on the uh, input and output variables, you can just directly copy from our academy or from the uh, YouTube video. So you can't make any mistakes in, uh, in writing the variable names correctly.